presented by the Bose Aviation Headset 10, voted number one for the eighth consecutive year in Professional Pilots' 2008 Annual Headset Preference Survey. Today's Aviation Headset 10 delivers a highly acclaimed combination of noise reduction, clearer audio, and comfort that remains unmatched. Learn more at Bose.com slash headset. Russ Niles and Dan Greider at AirVenture Oshkosh. We're standing beside the massive A380. It just came in a, a little while ago. It made quite an entrance. Uh, a little bit of crosswind out there today. Dan, you're a qualified 777 pilot. What did you see on that video? Uh, Russ, it looked ugly to me. This, this was a hard landing. I think we need to go back and look at this video up close. But this video is going to show a really hard landing and a lot of PIO. Let's go take a look. Here what you see is the aircraft's on final and everything's stable right to here. At this point, he's wiping the power out and that's what causes the airplane to hit so hard. When you see that much wing flex going through two full cycles, you know the airplane hit hard. Now let's go back and look at it in slow-mo here and uh, take the aircraft back to about a 50-foot uh, final. Looking at the aircraft on short final, you can see that it's crabbed severely because we can see the full right side of the fuselage. The airplane impacts with a very hard impact. As it does, those trucks are going to try to align the airplane, and it does. Now you're seeing the full left side of the airplane as it comes into view. Now, look at the rudder. Look at the full deflection of the rudder as the pilot PIOs a second time and pulls the aircraft hard left and then back to the right to finally straighten it out. Now, I want you to look at the wing flex. There's the impact. Look at the wings go down, up, down, and back up again. At Oshkosh, clearly there's lots of pressure for a pilot tasked with the responsibility of landing an A380 on runway 36 for millions of people to watch. Probably not the best foot forward for Airbus, but it sure looks like the airplane is probably going to still be usable. For AvWeb, I'm Dan Greider.